Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Zolan Iron Shield, and we're back with another Rise to War. And today we're doing a Rise to War guide on Gimli. Yes, 2.0 version of Gimli. Um, yes, do I miss my Gimli being able to do 400,000 damage? I do, but Gimli's still really, really good. And um, so is Dane. He's a monster now. Um, but anyway, I would like to talk to you about some stuff with Gimli, okay? So, first things first, I'm gonna go in the corner here for a second so I can talk about his page. Um, I love how they made him look more like John, John Rebus Davis. Little side note, I really hate this black background. I wish they would put it back to what it was before. And I will say, I kind of lost Gim my Gimli favorite animation when he kills the orcs. He just kind of walks up now. But his armor looks way better. And I like to point out, I do have his helmet <laughs> in real life. Um, but anyway, this is, I also have this axe, but it, they look, made it look slightly different from the movie. Um, here are some really good items for Gimli. The ideal setup for items, okay, are, this is how you think about it. I believe, so far, I'm in my testing, I believe Might will be the ideal one. I do not have, be able to get Might. Also, Sharp Blade can be good as a bonus one, keep those in mind. But, Axe of Cause of Doom is the way to go for Dane, Gimli, Bjorn, any of them. It's very, very strong. And I have a beautiful, gorgeously, fully refined, fully strengthened one. It's it's so great. Um, but uh, this is the ideal armor piece, pretty much, for if you want to just do ridiculous damage. It gives it also a great initiative, which is fantastic. Um, it also gives a little focus, which works out for a key. Keep that in mind for a minute from now. Also, unit attack, but that is, I'm using that one on him. This can also be good on Bjorn and Dane. They pretty much want the similar kinds of armor. Um, I'm using this right now, Berserkers, guys. I do technically have the cask at a pride, but the reason right now I'm using this helmet is because of the focus, all right? And I will t explain that in a minute. But if you are going to just go full attack, this one is technically the best commander attack one is this helmet here on the left. So, um, but I need a focus. And the unit attack is actually very nice, too. Um, you'll see that in a minute. Um, I'm using this one, the Drums of Berador. Again, it's for focus. And the attack, and I also can refine it a lot. But another really good one for Dane, Gimli, and him is the Palantir of, of Orthanc. This thing is insane, too, if you can get this with, uh, but I didn't have Might on it anyway, so I kept it over here for now. And Dane's just using it right now for damage. But as you can see, this is three stars, this is five, and this one does 36. This one does 32. So you can see why the Palantir is so strong. But again, it's the focus. Why do I need the focus? All right, the focus is for this. Uh, I definitely have this fully upgraded. Do not reforge your weapon, okay? Can I just stress this enough right now? I'm going to make a video about this. Do not reforge your weapons. It basically just deletes stuff, okay? So you can try to re-roll these stats. Apparently, these stats here on the right are, like, randomized every time. This is a trap. Do not click that button, okay? Do not reforge it. Uh, it is not like, oh, I get to take the stuff out and redo it. No, you'll lose stuff. Don't do it. Um, but anyway, that aside, uh, his focus, which is so amazing because it gives pursuit, he needs 50. Right now, this character gets very, very little focus. His base focus is 16, which is horrible. And I would have liked with the 2.0 update, if they had given some focus, maybe instead of this commander defense stat or this commander unit attack, they would have given like four focus. That would have been nice, okay? Uh, kind of help with that focus issue a little bit. Um, but pretty much he starts with 16. So you have to get him to 50, right? So if I um, unequip these for just a moment, because there's no more familiarity issue, right, with items. So I don't need to worry about that. As you can see here, I'm at 26, I mean 26 starting. But you have to remember too, right? So if I put this, this again, my axe back on here. Let's just bring out my flawless ones. I put this back on. This one doesn't get focus. So you can see I have 26 focus. Well, how do I get to... You can't see. There. 26 focus. How can I get to 50, right? So again, you're like, well, where am I getting uh, Where am I getting that bonus 10 if I don't have anything on? This is something you can do to help you out. You This applies before even combat starts. This abundant wisdom is giving a flat 10 focus, all right? So you could tactically keep this in your mind if you're trying to get to that 50 focus with, um, for Gimli. You can remember that, well, that will give me 50 focus, right? So, I mean, sorry, not 50, 10 focus. 
Um, so if you're trying to get to that 50, that 10 can be very, very helpful. But you still need to do other things. So at this point, I'm going to put my... Uh, which Keep the flawless on there. Thank you. Um, so this will give me 12. And this is definitely the, this is the highest attack commander attack in the game. The only one that comes kind of catches it is um, there's the gold plate that's pretty good. I don't have it here to show you, but that one's pretty good. So anyway, that one's good. Okay, now we're at 38. Again, remember, we're also adding that plus 10 from the ring. Okay, that's in this bonus here. Um, so now the next thing I'll do is I, I'll probably use, uh, let's say I was going to use the Palantir. So I'm just going to switch to it right now. All right. All right, so now I'm at 42, but I still have to get eight more focus. So if I use this, this won't give me any, right, to get to that 50. And granted, if I get up to level 50 right now, because I will get some more for leveling, so nine more levels, I only get 0.19 per level. This needs a buff, dude. This should be like, I think this should be 0.5 a level, all right? <laughs> give me at least another four for freaking nine levels, right? Um, so anyway, I'm only going to get like two more points. So yeah, then you, you still need another another uh, six, right? Sorry, no, eight. No, six. I'm right. Six, no matter what. Um, so that is why I'm using this Berserkers. Because I drop this on here, boom, I'm over 50, right? Now, granted, I could also use the Casket instead. And I could put back on the Drums of War, which give me 18. That would also easily get me over 50 again. See, you can kind of decide which or which. But for now, since I have my points into this one, I'm going to keep this one on. So, and if I remove that 10, I would be at 58, right from the ring. If I remove the ring, I'd be still at enough over 50 to be able to get my bonus right here. And again, 100 uh, attack da damage, that's easy. I'm at 221. And again, I'm getting 10 attack also from the ring. So with my gear and stuff and this level of 41, I'm technically only getting 211. All right. You guys keeping up with me? I'm talking kind of fast, but um, that's okay. This is, uh, this is information about Gimli. So that is how I'm building my Gimli. Now, you could get something that increases his initiative speed. I'm getting a plus six. His base initiative is 15. It's terrible. So that extra six is helping out a little bit, at least, on this armor. So that's good. Um, he also has pretty terrible commands. Uh, he just is a base 14. He doesn't get any more. So they're basically telling you he is not there to buff his his units you could give him command item sure but um he is there to murder enemy units uh that that is what Gimli is there for he's to beat up the enemy orcs and everyone else who's not nice um but pretty much that's how i've got him set up right now um when it comes to his abilities you don't really have to worry about the trick anymore to put in um because he's trigger on round two this triggers on round three it, they're off at things so you don't need to worry about that trick anymore remember back in the day where Gimli you had to I had a video on him where you had to oh put this last point in this one blah 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 you don't have to worry about that anymore you know interestingly enough one you might have to worry about that on now is Bard who at the time of me making this video is not out yet so I'll have to let you know in the future videos but um but for now for Gimli pretty cool remember Gimli it buffs elves and dwarves with his bloodline ability that's kind of cool I think that's kind of cool um, so pretty much when it comes to Gimli, that's my setup for Gimli right now. Um, I usually give Gimli guardians still, or I'll give him some other kind of another really good, really good a unit to give Gimli. Okay. It's like super, super good is, uh, the Shire protectors, right? Uh, where, where's my army? Yeah. Shire protectors. See, I've, give, I've given him Shire protectors right now. Shire protectors have an ability called, here it is unexpected threat 50 percent chance to increase the damage dealt by 50 percent all right if any army includes other units up to one chiropractor uh for being targeted so this 50 percent chance to increase d damage dealt by 50 percent affects the entire formation so including the commander all right uh it's pretty obvious he's doing a, he, he does a lot more damage with certain things at times um but yeah it's, it's pretty cool um so I, I it's definitely it's very definitely very strong and uh there is my gimli so hopefully that helps you out and uh that's kind of my setup right now if you're wondering uh lord of the glittering caves is also very good to put points into i've noticed that i think that experienced warrior with the stacking buff 
is and plus five is a little stronger than putting all the points in this even a lord of the glittering gives a slightly more it's 210 20 at max um and it does reduce healing which is nice and brings their defenses down for two rounds which negative five defense might make up for that five bonus damage so you could possibly when i get a few more levels i may try doing full points in this one and then doing five points in this one just to get that that stacking buff but i mean it really depends on what you think does more damage and i've been testing and uh yeah it's been pretty fun and my next characters i'm going to be making really strong are dane and probably bjorn because bjorn's a monster right now but anyway hopefully that helps you out there's a gimli video haven't done an updated gimli video in a while so if you have questions comments leave them in there um we will talk about some more uh, awesome formations later. I end up turning this into just talking about Gimli, but we'll just stick to that because I think it's going to get too complex. We'll do some individual ones on units and commander groups and good groups later on. Um, and you guys have a great, wonderful day in Middle Earth. And I'll make sure to title this correctly so you know what you're coming into. All right. Thank you to my patrons for their support. There's a link down there to uh, the official Rise to War stuff. If you want to get gems through that, you'll get some extra gems and you also support the channel. And right there, subscribe button, next video's up there. And over there's a leisure tale where I do voiceovers in Lord of the Rings Online. Thanks to my patrons, and have a great day in Middle-earth, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Baruch Hazan! Kuzan! I'm Menyo!